up guys, Foden of OTK and we're going to now look at presenting models so like, if you've watched all my other tutorials you'll know how to uh, um, get to this stage so you'll have your, a mo your model, you'll have your texture and you'll have it all set up in Marmoset like this looking as you want. Uh, now this is a, a P12 Turtle Beach for the PlayStation 4 which I modelled um, and I was quite happy with it. It's my first sort of model where, if I show you whereby every piece of geometry sort of matched so usually you could sort of model this section down here and then model this and just let them sort of pass through each other but this time I actually connected it all um, and it, it went alright so as you can see around the back here um, so this is sort of the first model where I started doing that and you know some things it's useful for some things it's not so Anyway, let's move on from that. We've got to look at how to present it. So we've got our um, different, I mean, gloss maps. Uh, we've got our different specular levels, our colour and our lighting. So now we've got this. Um, you could either take images, so capture image, um, but a lot of people like doing turntable animations of their models. So we're going to look through how we can do that inside Marmoset. So if we come to the scene and we go to the sky and we set this down to zero, the back backdrop brightness, it still uses the same picture for the reflectiveness um, on your model so that's fine. Um, and I know the background is black but we're going to go change this later and I'll show you why. So what I usually do is I usually position it relatively in the centre, come up to animation and hit play. And then what you can do is you can start adjusting the scene turntable ensuring this is dead in the center and you can pick up the speed and whatnot you know making sure that your model sticks into the center and I quite like that so that's that's nice so if I stop now we can go and render this turntable um, so we go to settings so capture settings um, do uh, well you can do whatever you want I'm gonna do 1280 by 720 purely for um, render time just make it as quick as possible do it PNG and transparency so we don't get this black background in. It renders it as an alpha, so that's what we want. Clockwise, anti-clockwise, choose which one you want. And where it says rotation, you want to choose which one you want to do. So scene, camera, or sky. Yeah? So mine was on the scene, so I can do that. Frame rate 30 and duration 1. What's duration again? Hover over it. Sets the duration of the exported uh, turntable in seconds. So I usually, oops, sorry, hit the mic. I usually do 10 seconds. Uh, you don't need any longer than that. So click OK and show output folder. Oh, it's the desktop. Um, okay, that's fine. Go to capture and then turntable. So that's now going to render your turntable out for 10 seconds. So if we come to the desktop, oops, where's the show desktop? Um, we've got a new folder called turntable 000 and as you can see it's now sorry I, I stood there I, I knew what I was going to say but I just didn't um, rendering out each image as a PNG sequence and that's what we want and we're just going to let this uh, fall through and then once it's done I'm going to continue the tutorial again Right, yeah, so we're back and we've got a whole. Oh, sorry, I'm going to pause it. Sorry about the dogs. Right, yeah, sorry about that. So, yeah, we've got a whole um, sequence now with our colour and lighting and whatnot. And then, just for extra, what I also do is I do not touch anything. What I do is I literally grab the default um, texture, oops, work on the scene, click and drop that onto the headset, make sure that's completely white. Um, turn down the gloss, turn down um, the specular and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's cool. We haven't got anything else on it. Go to the render, turn off local reflections, ambient occlusion, and high res shadows. You just want literally the clay. Um, and then we can go wireframe. We can hit that to black. Catching it. Um, what I do is I usually hit the color to sort of about. Sort of. Well, we'll do black anyway, and then you just want to sort of 
choose a relevant level of detail for your wireframe. Now, to keep it more professional, I wouldn't do it something like this. It looks too hard, too messy, horrible. So if you keep it just nice and thin, something along the lines of that, it just looks much more nicer. And then, again, now we've got that, we just go to Capture, Turntable. Keep all the same settings, but we're literally just rendering out another one. So if I go to Show Desktop, I think I may have made a mistake as well with the the 10 second thing, because obviously it's 30 frames per second, and that's for 10 seconds. So that's 300 frames. I think the total of the whole turntable um, will be 10 seconds, so you only need 5. However, I'll show you how to fix that anyway, but because um, I will have to fix it, but... I would have probably done five seconds each because you'll render out five seconds and that'll be one spin but I'd want it to spin twice so instead of waiting around you know to render 300 frames you just render 150 frames and then you just duplicate it in After Effects it's so much quicker um, but I just it was in my mind 10 seconds that's how long it is so that's how long it needed to be um, but that's fine we'll wait for this now to, to finish and then we'll come back and we'll make it into a nice final piece Right guys, so I'm back and we've got both of them now rendered out. So I've opened up After Effects. Friend, I'm having to use a CS6 because my CC is currently rendering something. Um, so what we can do is now do now is import both those uh, turntable sequences. So we'll start off with the first one and the second. Rightio. So. What I now do is create oops, create a new composition. Oops, uh, 30 frames we want it, and we'll do well 1280 by 720. But you can have that whatever one you want, um, and we'll finalize it at 10 seconds. We don't want to make it too long. There we go. So what we can do is we can drag both of these in now, and because they take up 10 seconds, I want it to do half because obviously this is just one rotation. So you select both of them, go to layer time time stretch and um, do uh, 50 so half it there we go and then what we can do is we can uh, let's see which one's which we want the wireframe on top um, but we want to duplicate the bottom one so the color so if I hide that what we got now is two spins consecutively of our model However, the first five seconds is going to be this wireframe, and then it's going to fade into this. So what we can do now is we can sort of come to the end here, and that's the reason we've duplicated the bottom, the uh, the bottom one twice, is because as we start to fade this out, so click T, opacity, and then just fade that out. As you can see now, it slowly goes from wireframe into the model. So then that way, while you're presenting off your model you can see the topology on how you've created it and then you know it depends on what your model is you might be able to see that this is all just solid geometry but when you come into here you see all this normal map detail so you can clearly see what's topology what's um, normal map and it's just nicer overall so we could probably uh, no we'll do it at the end actually so we can come to the start here hit alt and then open bracket just to cut that there, just so as it fades, it's got something underneath, which is what we want. And then I go to layer, select new solid, and as I mentioned earlier, we don't want the background to be black. So I put that at the bottom, go to edit, and I generate a ramp, and that's like a gradient. Set that to radial, I get the start of the ramp on the f very edge here, and then keep the end of the ramp dead in the center. Oh no, I've done it wrong. Um, end on the side and then start in the center. Is that right? There we go. Um, and then I choose which color I want. So for the outside, I usually choose a dark, dark gray. And then the inside, I use a lighter gray. But it's very slight detail, only slightly. You don't need to go crazy. The, sim the more simple, the better. And then ramp scatter, just whack that up so it smooths these lines out. And then, depending on what you want to do, you don't want to overpopulate your your frame with all this different information. You don't need to know how many tries it is. 
any of that, that can all be put in the description of the video. Um, you might want to do is what, well this is what I do, I always save um, some logos for the programs that I've used um, and I'll, if I import those now so that's just a solid PNG pop that over the top and it might be 1080 yep so uh, transform fit to comp so basically it's telling me that I've used Quixel Suite, I've used Maya, I've used Photoshop and I've used Marmoset and anybody who's sort of regular and watching these videos they know what each one of those are used for so that's fine so you basically say I've made the uh, I've made this with these programs that's all you need to put nice gentle colors you know you don't need anything too vibrant um, keep it all looking professional and once you're done you can pre-compose all of it and then just put little fades in the front Uh, so whack that on 100 and then whack that on 0 so if I just render through now we'll see what we have and I hope this tutorial has been helpful on how to show off your models or whatnot um, in a sort of a professional manner by just keeping it nice and simple and by showing little things like wireframe you know that then uh, transferring onto the actual colour and that'll be a full detail model render as well. So I'll just wait for this to pre-render, should I say, and then then we'll watch it all through in real time and I'll see what it's got. I will actually make this bigger for you when the time comes. Because obviously if you're watching this on YouTube, that's quite small at the minute. I'm afraid this is taking a lot longer than it should for two layers it's because I am rendering um, and I am recording as well so it's probably you know a bit harsh on the memory but we'll get it done rightio so let's bring this all the way down let's fit that let's have a look shall we so we've got the wireframe that's cool and then as it finishes its spin it goes into the nice color and then it will fade out and that is all you need so yeah, I hope that's helped. Um, you know, obviously, just remember those steps: get your model in, set up the turntable first, render out the full image one, um, and then do the wireframe, and then just overlay them in After Effects, and just keep it all nice and simple and tidy. So please like and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.